bottle of foam. I filled it up once and I went through it. There was a couple of gaps, so I would go through it again, fill in the gaps, and then sand it smooth. I have a, I highlighted the hub here because it's a really nice design. So I got that. Painted it black. I probably put about four coats of just plain flat black paint on it because it's really hard to get into all those crevices. But it looks pretty good. There's still a couple gaps, but it's really not that big a deal. Then I put a I glued a wheel magnet on there so I can get my speed. Um, you can see the paint, the brake tracks painted. This is an aluminum rim, but I painted aluminum rims before. You don't really have to mess off the brake track. It'll wear off with your braking, but be aware that your first couple of brakes, they're not going to be that good. <laughs> Um, in order to get good clearance with the chain stays, you really have to sand this thing smooth, almost even with the spokes. So get nice and level with the rim and then with the spokes. It's all good. It works really good. I haven't ridden it yet, but before I painted it and actually proceeded to fill in the gaps from the first, the first foam, I went through it. I put it on and I spun it really hard just to make sure it wouldn't come apart before I invested more time in it. And I put a regular Shimano skewer in there so you can kind of keep it stealth. And go over here to the back side of it. It's really nice. You really, I really had to sand it smooth. Level with the spokes so that it wouldn't interfere the derailleur in the highest gear and to get good clearance with the, the highest gear too. Um, kind of a unique design that I made with mine. I didn't want to cut through for to have an error. So instead I just, this is a 60 millimeter valve stem. I kind of made it kind of a Know what you would call this but I kind of beveled it in I didn't have to go all the way through and I fit my adapter in there so it looks nice because you don't have a hole that's going through it and I don't cover it I just leave it like that so on the other side it's on the other side is just like that you see it I can actually push and on this side come here it's good because when I put my adapter on there it presses against here and it doesn't come off I use my homemade adapter that's in showcased in one of my other videos overall it came out really nice I don't know if it's any arrow but I don't know it's cool I guess you could say these holes are dimples maybe they'll catch air pockets and actually make me slower but I don't know one thing I notice is now when I pedal I stop pedaling it kind of pushes the brakes the cranks I don't know why it does that maybe there's some foam stuck back there maybe I have to adjust my freewheel or something overall the weight um, it's actually lighter than my uh, I say it's around the same I have a SRAM S80 I have a Dura Ace 1225 on there um, also my wheel of choice was a 7800 Durace wheel I have two of these wheels that's another one right there this is one here so I thought I might as well try it with this one because I have never had to true these wheels as you can see still straight so hopefully with the foam it actually strengthen it more and I won't have to chew it. I got some pictures on it. I didn't really take much video of the process involved in making it because of how tedious it was. 
just a lot of sanding and shaving and filling so yeah but i'll post pictures of some of the progress that i made but as you can see here is the final result i'll spin it up for you I don't plan on putting any decals on it. I really like the stealth look. Just the magnet. I'll probably even put some black sharpie on the magnet. But yeah, thanks for watching my video.